You know the assignment for this week. One, two, three, four. Four wins over Army. The prophecy is true. Presented by Lidos. I told you, with this weekend's clean sweep over Army, Navy takes the lead in this year's Star Series presented by USAA. Men's and women's track and field won the star meet for the fifth consecutive year. Senior Josh Boma set school records in the weight throw and shot put. 21-12 and 18-7-1 respectively. Senior Bramir Vick broke the school record in the 60-meter hurdles. And Gia Anderson, she broke three school records with the 60-meter sprint, 60-meter hurdles, and the 200 meters. In rifle, Navy shot an Army-Navy best 58-96. By NCAA scoring, their mark was also a school best at 47-24. Gymnastics was downright gymnasty with their sixth consecutive star meet win, and they did it without All-American Isaiah Drake, who hurt himself in Friday's practice. The mids won by 12.9 points. The magic number to clinch this year's star series is four, and the next opportunity is Saturday. Men's and women's basketball head to West Point for their star games on Saturday, televised on CBS Sports Network. The women are coming off a 59-58 win over Colgate on Saturday. The Mids have won back-to-back -back Patriot League games, and they've yet to lose twice to a conference opponent this season. The men tune up Wednesday against Bucknell here at Alumni Hall. Men's lacrosse is so back. 12 midshipmen scored in Saturday's 19-6 throttling of Mount St. Mary's. Senior Xavier Arline and sophomore Mac Haley had hat tricks and senior Max Hewitt scored four goals. On Saturday, they'll host Hofstra, which, fun fact, is the alma mater of head coach Joe Amplo. Women's lacrosse opens the season against number 24 Duke. The midshipmen rank number 25 in the preseason poll. The mids return nine starters. Junior midfielder Emily Messines acknowledged there's a lot of talent and strong personalities on this 2024 team. The key is listening to each other. They need to tap into the strengths of each player, and that's easy to do when they've all got the same goal in mind. To win every single game, <laughs> um, win the Patriot League for sure, and then advance to the NCAAs. The way to be successful and win this season is to leverage the strengths of each individual person. So really taking the time to listen to each other, listen to what everyone has to say, um, is how we're gonna be the best team. Take a look at the home schedule this weekend. Men's and women's tennis competing on Saturday and Sunday, respectively. Men's lacrosse hosting Hofstra. Women's lacrosse with that Friday 4 p.m. draw control against Duke. And finally, Squash looks to close out their 75th anniversary season on a high note at the Mid-Atlantic Squash Conference Championship in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania.